Today I'm going to show how to change the oil pressure switch on a 2011 Honda Odyssey. These are the tools you'll need. Um, some needle nose pliers. This is a half inch drive socket and this is a 15 16 drive or you can use 24 millimeters and then a little pick. Um, the needle nose I just used for these little things or you can use your fingers you just have to turn them 90 degrees to unlatch them and then the socket will be to remove the pressure switch then this little pick I'll use to remove the old gasket and also help me put the new one in you'll also need an OBD2 code reader I believe I purchased this one at an auto parts store for about $50 you can find them online or also many auto parts stores will loan them to you this plugs in right over here. My check engine light's on. And if I go to my code reader, it's giving me air code P3400. First you want to remove these two clips. You just turn them. And they come right out. This just pops off. Next, the oil pressure switch for the rear cylinder head is located down in here. Like I said, it's right back in here. And it's a little tricky to remove. There's a, a little clip you have to push in. I'll try and show you here. Hopefully it'll stay lit up well enough. Okay, so there's a little clip on the left side of it here you got a pinch to pull it off and then that's that's your pressure switch right there next you want to take your I got a half drive 15 16 socket to remove it or you can use a 24 millimeter either one should work next you just want to remove it this is the old one if you'll notice there's no gasket on it you got to make sure the old gasket is removed before you put the new one on so as you can see in there the old gasket is stuck in there so I'm just gonna gently remove it and replace it here's the old gasket this is the part I ordered on Amazon this is the new gasket I also ordered on Amazon that's the new gasket in now you want to make sure it's properly seated. Next you take your new one and put it in. And I'll just snug it up. Then just plug it back in. Then just put the cover back on. You just want to make sure those back two points hook in. They just push in. Then these ones you'll just twist it to the right 90 degrees and it'll be latched. Next you want to reset your check engine light with just a code reader. 